Have you ever wondered what it truly takes to make a school thrive? Is it just the top-notch academics or the state of the arts facilities? No, I think it goes deeper. I think it is about the culture. And in today's episode, we're gonna explore what are school principals doing to help their students and staff feel valued, motivated, and included. Whether it be building trust, celebrating success, or creating inclusivity. These are the strategies that are gonna take you and your school to the next level. So grab a pen, a piece of paper, and get ready to take some notes, because we're gonna start right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our newest episodes. All right, hey everybody, and welcome in. Today, you, me, leadership. We're talking about leadership. And leadership is becoming more and more challenging and more and more difficult given the times and the circumstances that we live in. And your leadership is that much more important today than it has ever been. And so when I think about like baseline core competencies, core responsibilities for us as leaders, and is it is about the environment that we create. It's about what we're what we're shaping, what we're developing and what we're building for our students, for our staff and for our school community. And so what we want to really hone in on is the core capacity of building a positive, promoting a positive and a healthy school culture. Because when we create that as leaders, we give our teachers, our faculty, our staff members a platform to thrive. When we create that positive school culture, we create that platform for our students to excel. And so we're going to talk about three key strategies that you can use to promote and to cultivate a positive and a healthy school culture. So let's jump right in with strategy number one. All right, strategy number one in building and promoting a positive, healthy school culture. And that is about building trust and relationships. Building foundational trust is you can't go anywhere you want to go as a leader. You can't take your staff, your students, and your school community any place if you haven't built trust and you haven't developed a relationship. And so I think the very first way that we do that is actually to do something that many of us as leaders struggle with. And that is we need to pause, we need to step back, and we need to listen. And so my strategy for you today is to take yourself as a leader, whether you're a brand new leader, whether you are a leader who's been in your organization for a year or three years, or if you've been in your organization for 15 years, go on a listening tour, take time, pause, make a list, make a very, very specific list of critical stakeholders that you want to talk to, that you want to hear from, and that you want to gain insight and wisdom from. And then go on a tour of just listening, asking questions, and then taking the time and making yourself vulnerable to really hear, receive, and reflect on the feedback that you receive. Because you will hear things when you truly ask the questions and you, and you truly make yourself vulnerable enough and you humble yourself enough in front of people who know you as their leader, recognize you as their leader. But when you get curious and you ask them their opinion, you ask them for their insight and you ask them for their wisdom, the nuggets, the nuggets of, of gold that you get from them to then be able to build that vibrant school community that you desperately want as a leader to build that vibrant school community that your staff desperately wants for themselves and for their students. And you build a place where your parents and your family members, they're just proud 
they're just happy, they're excited about everything you're doing. And the way that we get to that is by getting to the hearts and minds of the people that are in that system, by listening. And that listening and then reacting and then reflecting and then implementing based on what you hear, that builds trust and that builds relationship. And that's step one to building that vibrant and healthy positive school culture. All right, let's talk about strategy number two. And strategy number two, again, around promoting and cultivating this positive school culture is all around making sure that we recognize and we celebrate success. We as leaders have the opportunity to create space, intentional space, to recognize the good work, the progress, the effort of our students, of our staff, of our faculty, and of our families, our parents. And so a strategy that you can incorporate because seeing it visually is a powerful reminder and it's a powerful culture builder to see and recognize and honor success in a visual way. So create a wall of fame, a wall of fame where you showcase and you highlight successful students, where you showcase and highlight successful staff members, where you showcase and highlight proud and engaged and active parents and volunteers, but recognizing them, putting their pictures and their names up in lights in a prominent, in a prominent location that is highly visible, it's highly trafficked, people see it, people are able to see that and then also recognize, wow, I want to be on that wall. I want to be recognized as well. We as human beings, we like recognition. We as leaders have the opportunity to recognize people and to celebrate people. We have that platform. We have that authority. And think about the type of environment you create when you develop a cadence of recognizing, celebrating, rewarding, and honoring the people around you. It becomes infectious and more and more people will elevate themselves and elevate their performance and elevate who they are and what they're doing, not because they want to be on the wall, but just that you've created this positive environment where a rising tide lifts all boats. And we as leaders can promote that in the school culture that we want to create by recognizing and celebrating people. So find a way, find a way to create a wall of fame or a wall of recognition. You can call it whatever you want, but make sure it's visible and it's prominent and it's a place where people can see it and people can celebrate it and people can feel valued because they're a part of that, right? And so that is strategy number two. All right, before we move to strategy number three, share with us in the comments below whether it be a trust building strategy or it be a recognition strategy and maybe you want to have a listening tour and maybe you want to build a hall of fame and if, it, if it's neither one of those what's a strategy that you will use to ensure that you're building that healthy and vibrant positive school culture share that with us in the comments below and we're going to move to strategy number three so strategy number three in creating this healthy and vibrant positive school culture is about creating inclusivity and equity. It is critically important that we find ways to honor and value and recognize the diverse cultures, the diverse people, the diverse backgrounds of all of our students and of all of our staffs. This beautiful tapestry of people from different walks of life and different areas of the world in different backgrounds and different communities. The school and when we come together and all those folks come together, it's a beautiful opportunity to increase that inclusivity, to increase our commitments to equity. And so a strategy is develop a task force, have an equity driven task force, a diverse group of people, a diverse group of stakeholders, parents, teachers, faculty, staff, community members, students, 
most importantly, students. So student voice, if you want to talk about inclusivity and equity for students, you've got to include students in the conversation. So that equity task force should have a diverse group of folks who come and they talk about things around how do we recognize the richness of diversity in our schools? How do we recognize that there are issues of bias and discrimination that do exist? Let's not act like it doesn't exist because it does. It exists and we have to recognize that and then we have to create opportunities for conversation, opportunities for dialogue, opportunities for developing shared understanding of the lived experience that we're all going through. And an equity task force can help to uncover and discover some of these issues and then create opportunities for new initiatives, new programs, new commitments, new shared realities, a new shared vision for moving forward through a positive, healthy school culture. We as leaders, get to shape the environment. We get to create the environment by the decisions that we make, by the opportunities that we create, by the spe specific and intentional actions that we put in place. That's, that's our gift. That's our, that's our challenge. That's our gift, but that's also our, our opportunity. And so I'm inviting you to think about how do you create that positive, vibrant school culture? Well, think about incorporating these three strategies as a part of your overall leadership development and as a part of trying to create the most important things that we can do as school leaders, which is we want to take care of our school community. And one of the first ways we do that is creating a healthy school culture where everybody wants to be there, where everybody's bought in, where everybody is all in to make our school and our community the absolute best. And our job is to help to shape and navigate that path for them. So if you wanna learn more about going further and faster in these strategies, these key levers, these key pieces in educational leadership, specifically at the school site, check out this next video right here. It goes deeper, it expands on even more of these strategies around the key things that you must do when you are running and leading a school-based organization. So check out that next video and then also check the description below for more information on coaching and resources and our newsletter that gives weekly information, weekly tips, weekly things that you can do to push you further faster in your educational journey, all right? So take care of each other. As leaders, create the space that you want that's gonna be a place and a space that's gonna be great for kids and great for the people that you serve. So check out this next video here. Again, it's gonna take you further. It's gonna take you there faster. And we're gonna see you on our next one. Thanks everyone, be well.